What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung finally responds to the whole moon controversy surrounding the Galaxy S23 Ultra and there are other flagships which can take detailed photos of the moon. I guess you're already aware of this whole thing. If not, let me briefly explain the whole issue. A Redditor snapped a photo of an artificially blurred image of the moon using a Samsung phone on his computer monitor, but the phone added in extra detail that didn't exist in the original picture, thereby people are claiming that Samsung is just slapping an image of the moon from their database and the resulting image is not real. Now, Samsung responded explaining the techniques used by its phones to photograph the moon. And they are saying the same thing I explained in my last video about this issue, which is that they are using a detail enhancement engine, aka enhancing the image using artificial intelligence. They said even if you artificially blur the image of the moon, as the Redditor did, the phone will still gonna detect it is a picture of the moon and will try to add in detail to make it look like a moon. If you don't want that and want a blurry mess of a photo, just turn the scene optimizer off. A lot of people also said when they take moon pictures in the early evening time, the sky around the moon gets darker than the actual sky color. Well, Samsung responded by saying they deliberately do this in order to help make the moon appear more clearly because the moon is the brightest object in the night sky. If they don't do that, the result will be an overexposed bright white moon. So basically, Samsung is confirming what many of us said earlier. All they're doing is enhancing the image by using AI and there's absolutely no inserting an overlay image from their database. The phone sees the details of the real image, uses AI to fix the blur and upscale the image. If people think that's not acceptable, then they should also stop using the night mode, portrait mode, space zoom and more and just go full on with manual mode because it's the AI that's doing the majority of work here. If it wasn't for AI, phone cameras would never be as good as they are today, it would still be in 2010. Honestly, this whole thing is blown out of proportion and it's either because people don't know how modern smartphone photography works or they just like downplaying Samsung. Moving on, Samsung will launch the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra alongside the Z Fold 5 and Flip 5 in August at the Unpacked event. And today we have some more information about the tablet. Starting with its battery capacity, which is going to remain the same as its predecessor, which is 11,200 mAh. There were some reports that Samsung will use the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset for this tablet, which is not true. It's going to be the same one they used for the S23, the A Gen 2 for Galaxy. In case you missed it, the Tab S9 Ultra will also be the first tablet in the world to have an IP67 water resistant rating. Speaking of the world's first, the Z Fold 5 is also rumored to get this feature. Click here to know more and I'll see you there.